what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and the Redmi Note 5 Pro right here and I'm running the same ROM on both of these devices of course they are like different builds because the devices are different so I'll show you the latest build of the pixel experience ROM which is the pixel experience plus actually let me show you from the Android version and I have already done a like video of the features and stuff of this pixel experience plus ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro if you haven't seen that here is a card for you and today in this video i'm going to show you like what things you get over here and what things you get on the redmi like note 5 pro and the build number as you can see over here this is the 15th march 2020 build and let me show you which build i'm running on the redmi note 5 pro and here if you notice the build number as you can see this is the 14th march 2020 build the security patch on both is like latest march 5th 2020 and the Android version is 10 of course. The stock kernel of the Pixel Experience Plus ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro is retarded kernel and here we have the like fixie kernel as the stock kernel right here on the Redmi K20 Pro's Pixel Experience Plus ROM. Here I have been noticing some differences yes like if you go into display these are like very small things if you go into display and lock screen display on both you will find the always on display over here on the Redmi K20 Pro whereas on the Redmi Note 5 Pro this feature is not simply there. And if you, even if you go into the ambient display, there is no always on display feature right here because simply this Redmi Note 5 Pro has the like IPS display. It does not actually need a always on display. So yeah. And now talking about the fingerprint scanner speed, let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed on the like Redmi Note 5 Pro. And as you can see, it unlocks fairly quickly. If you notice the unlocking speed of the fingerprint scanner is like fairly quick on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and I have no problems at all with like unlocking the device with the fingerprint scanner on this like Redmi Note 5 Pro. And talking about the Redmi K20 Pro let me show you both has the double tap to sleep by the way as you can see and here if I try to unlock and as you can see it unlocks like fairly fast even from the always on display so no issues with either of the devices now talking about the features and stuff yes you can like swipe on the status bar to adjust the brightness of the screen this works with like both the devices as you can see over here you can just adjust the brightness like this and it works flawlessly on both the roms now talking about the stock cameras here as you can see both has miui camera by default and both should be working great and here like the front camera and stuff everything works the Redmi Note 5 Pro's front camera opens faster which is really weird but yeah as you can see like the front camera on both the devices works super fine and in video mode on the Redmi K20 Pro you will get the 4K 60fps option if you are noticing and here on the Redmi Note 5 Pro let me show you how much you will get you have to go to the settings for this and here you can shoot up to 4K 30 or 1080p 60fps with this MIUI camera. So yeah, both are a little bit different MIUI cameras of course because they are different devices but yeah, on both it works. And Google camera, yes, on both it works and I have installed the Google camera 7 on the Redmi K20 Pro and like that is working fine. I have not installed any Google camera yet on the Redmi Note 5 Pro but yeah, they should work fine. I'll link it below if you need the Google camera for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now one more thing that I want to talk about which is a pro for the Redmi Note 5 Pro is that like it has this IR blaster on top and with this like IR Blaster and with this app I have tried the like IR Blaster is working fine on this ROM no issues whereas the Redmi K20 Pro does not simply have IR Blaster on the device side so yeah that's a bummer but yeah the IR Blaster on the Redmi Note 5 Pro works flawlessly and in terms of daily driving performance and customization and stuff they are pretty similar if you go into system you will find these gestures and buttons whereas like you can find these many customizations and I would say like in terms of a pixel experience from this is pretty great that we get some amount of customizations and long press for torch and stuff even on the Redmi Note 5 Pro works like pretty fine let me show you as you can see the torch is like fired up and like from the lock screen itself it works super fine toggling and stuff everything works I just tapped on something else over there and in the gestures we have the swipe to screenshot so if you want to take a screenshot as you can see the three finger screenshot gesture is there but yeah this is not the like oxygen OS kind of screenshot gestures this is just a normal like screenshot taking option it also has a system updater now talking about flashing the roms well i would say like on the redmi k20 pro i have flashed the rom with the f grip disabler with orange fox recovery whereas on the redmi note 5 pro i did not need to do that I was like decrypted on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. No, you do not need the FCrypt disabler for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. You just need to like wipe cache Dalvik system data, assuming you are on a different custom ROM. So you can just like wipe cache Dalvik system data and just flash the latest ROM file and reboot. You don't need any GApps for like either of the devices because Pixel Experience comes with GApps like inbuilt. 
so you don't need to flash any other like zip files for the redmi note 5 pro just flash the rom file and reboot it should work fine and on the redmi like k20 pro we have to flash the fcrypt disabler if your storage is decrypted and one more thing that you need to note is that like here as you can see there is no developer option but let me show you on the redmi k20 pro i have enabled the developer option in the system panel and if you go advanced here as you can see we have the developer option i have enabled it and only here you will find the advanced reboot the advanced reboot feature is nowhere in the ui so you have to enable the developer option well how to enable that you just go into the about phone and scroll down towards the build number and tap on the build number like seven times and you have to enter your pin so after you have entered your pin just hit right and then go back to system and then go back to the developer options and enable this advanced reboot and now on the redmi note 5 pro 2 if you like press and hold the power button and tap on restart you will find the option to directly reboot to recovery and fast boot so that's a nice one and the live wallpapers and stuff is working fine even on the redmi note 5 pro if you are noticing this is a live wallpaper which i have applied on and even on the k20 pro i am using a live wallpaper this is working great it does not like slow down the ui very much as you can see the ui stays pretty fast and by the way with the screenshot it has this markup kind of thing with which like you can open the screenshot and like mark somewhere like this you can change the colors this is just the google markup kind of feature you can save it or like do an arrow like this and share it from right here so with the screenshots this is a nice feature and talking about the live wallpapers let me show you if you go into styles and wallpapers you will find all the live wallpapers over here and you can download more like this you can just scroll down and like select whatever live wallpaper you need and download them and apply them as you're liking this feature is still there on the redmi k20 pro 2 so that is a really nice one i guess and here is the enter to score for both of these devices and i have been using the like redmi k20 pro as my daily driver with this pixel experience from and i would say the battery life and stuff is like pretty great i have got about six and a half or seven hours of screen on time with this rom which is quite good i have not used the redmi note 5 pro as my daily driver or like i do not have the sim card in it but i would say the battery life even on the redmi note 5 pro should be pretty good you can get five hours of screen on time easily and yes with the redmi k20 pro i have seen some bugs and that is like with the like charging and stuff i do not see the like camera's led turn on so yeah that's a bummer that like it, there is no light at all the blue or red led which appears on the camera that simply do not appear on this rom i cannot see the led like lighting up over here on this area on the redmi k20 pro now in terms of sound quality i would say both has really great sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well in the sound settings one thing that you cannot find on the redmi note 5 pro is that like the mi audio direct that is simply not there whereas on the k20 pro we do have the mi audio direct and this mi audio direct sounds pretty much amazing with the redmi k20 pro but i'm like quite disappointed that this feature is simply not appearing on the pixel experience plus rom for this redmi note 5 pro so that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet i would say the like pixel experience plus is really good that it's available officially for the redmi k20 pro as well as the redmi note 5 pro and both are working pretty much great and you can definitely use them as your daily driver so that's what i think let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this pixel experience plus rom thank you so much again for watching this video guys this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now